ever pondered the secrets behind crafting the perfect risotto alla milanese? It's a dish bathed in tradition, a culinary classic that originates from the heart of northern Italy. Today, we're embarking on a journey to master this golden, creamy delight. First, gather the ingredients. It doesn't take much, but quality truly matters here. You'll need a cup of arborio rice, a short-grained rice known for its ability to absorb flavors and maintain a firm texture. You'll also need four cups of chicken or vegetable broth, half a cup of dry white wine, one small finely chopped onion, one clove of garlic, a pinch of saffron threads, and half a cup of grated Parmigiano Reggiano. Don't forget two tablespoons of butter and a generous drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. Start by heating the broth in a pot until it's warm but not boiling. This is going to be the liquid gold that transforms your rice into risotto. While the broth is warming, melt a tablespoon of butter in a large pan over medium heat. Toss in the finely chopped onion and cook until it becomes transparent, stirring occasionally. Add the garlic and the arborio rice, stirring until the grains are well coated and slightly toasted. This step is crucial as it helps the rice to absorb the broth, resulting in a creamier risotto. Now pour in the white wine, stir until the wine evaporates completely. This process, known as deglazing, lifts all those delicious flavors from the bottom of the pan and infuses them into the rice. Once the wine has evaporated, it's time to add the warm broth, one ladle at a time, stirring often. The key to a great risotto is patience. Never rush this process. Only add the next ladle of broth once the previous one has been fully absorbed by the rice. After about 15 minutes, add the saffron threads. This is the signature ingredient of risotto alla milanese, lending the dish its characteristic golden hue. Continue to cook, stirring and adding broth, until the rice is tender, but still firm to the bite. Remove the pan from the heat and stir in the remaining butter and the grated Parmigiano Reggiano. This final touch, known in Italy as mantecatura, gives the risotto its creamy, luxurious finish. And there you have it, a perfect risotto alla Milanese, ready to impress at your next dinner party or simply to enjoy on a cozy night in. To recap, warm the broth, saute the onion, garlic and rice, Deglaze with wine, gradually add the broth, stirring often, infuse with saffron, finish with butter and cheese. Thank you for joining in on this delightful culinary journey. If you found this guide helpful and want to explore more delicious recipes, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, buon appetito!